But anyway, now I'm pressing go live button. Hello and welcome on a Red Dead Online stream. It, basically, you know, I called it Beans Plus. It's kind of meme. I'm laughing at GTA Plus. Uh, but talking about this stream, it's just going to be, you know, communication, reading chat, uh, talking to, to viewers who will decide to join me today on this stream. Uh, yeah, you know, usually, if you've been on such streams, you know how, how it goes. If you been, you got it, been. And hello, uh, anyway, welcome to everyone who already joined. G Simba says, how are you feeling, cat? Well, uh, you know, it's a kind of weird uh, situation about such questions I receive, like, Cat, are you okay? I, like, uh, are you? How are you doing? Like, and what, I don't know how how to respond in the current situation. It's like you cannot. I cannot say like I'm fine, right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm good. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just just saying why I, because some people, a lot of people actually are asking me in in private messages like how how are you doing, and. I quite often don't even reply because I'm getting confused. Anyway, hello and welcome to everyone. Let me know in a chat, like, uh, if everything is fine. I'm testing. Uh, we finally moved to an apartment, uh, like, constant apartment. Uh, so I'm testing internet. I'm testing, you know, setup. You see, like... Uh, oh, but Pico Doc donated through Super Chat. Yeah, it works. It works. Thanks, Pico Doc. And Pico Doc says, no likes, no Tahiti. Yeah, exactly. Are you safe at least? Yeah, I'm, I'm safe. Uh, absolutely. I'm, uh, I've said it many times on many streams, many videos. That, uh, I went to European country uh, at the middle of February, I came to open bank account and so like I was in a, on a, let's call it business trip. And thank, again, thanks speaker dog for testing this new feature that I have super chat. Uh, I finally managed to turn it on. Okay. Let's, let's start collecting some stuff. Anyway, let me let me know what uh, you know about the quality. If stream is lagging, what's up with sound? You know all the technical technical issues. Team Nolex says, "Where do you live now? Poland? Uh, no, actually, uh, okay, I'm not gonna say uh, because you know it's super easy to find out." And Tim Nolex has a YouTube channel, so he knows how to find it out. It's not a secret, but let's keep the intrigue. Broken controller, United John Fenger says, Slava Ukraine. Exactly. And uh, uh, speaking about, you know, the charity streams, I'm just, today I'm testing if everything is fine with my capability of streaming. And I am definitely will make a charity stream next week. Let me actually show you. Previous charity streams were doing so great. Uh, so look, for example, last one. And it was kind of, it, it was kind of failed from technical point of view. It was not super successful. But anyway, community managed to get one almost two thousand dollars for charity and it was for project hope and yeah so i just have to do it i just have to do it pico dog says no problem here is another and for some reason it's not showing on the screen oh, oh okay probably i failed somehow but yeah i can see it in super chat no problem here is another dinner on me. Slava Ukraine. Pico Dog. Thank you, Pico Dog. What is new in Red Dead Online? Uh, Agor 3000. <laughs> okay, so uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, here you go. So uh, these messages are working. Good to know. 
Hey cat, is your cat safe? Yeah, my cat is like super safe. He's living with grandma and uh, he has like, you know, amount of supplies, let's call it, which is basically food and uh, the stuff for toilet. So anyway, he has amount of supplies for like a one year, I believe, or more. <laughs> Enormous amount. Victor V uses beans, uh, beans, uh, comma, uh, you know, this command in chat, but I'm not quite sure if it's, for some reason it was not working properly lately, this, uh, you know, how it's called, bot, chat bot, was kind of doing not, not that good. Glad to see you, Miss Dixon, says. Glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Glad to see everyone who joined today. And it's not like I'm seeing you, but I see uh, familiar nicknames in chat. Familiar people even. So yeah, w welcome. And yeah, just repeating. Nothing happened in Red Dead Online. So it's just like on the background, I will be looking for collectibles. Then, then dog. Donated through Super Chat. Well, 20 bucks. Thanks. I already actually collected <laughs> more money through this Super Chat uh, feature than I, you know, make over a month from my streams. <laughs> because, you know, monetization, I'm not saying that monetization for videos is not giving a lot of money. It does. But uh, monetization on your streams are not that impressive if you don't use any donation, if you don't have any donations. Polymorphing says, hello cat, hope you're having a nice day. Okay, about my day, about my day. Uh, last week I've spent to kind of settle up. You know, Kids need to go to school, to kindergarten. We, we rented an empty apartment. And I thought, I thought that it's a smart idea, you know, because it's much cheaper. Apparently, it was not a smart idea because I, ju I just forgot how much it costs to buy even minimum required stuff uh, for an apartment. But it's, you know, it's a one year renting contract so whatever i love the outfit yeah it's i call this outfit flex and you know why I, I mostly flex when i have this outfit team nolik says i like how gta online players are now getting a taste of their own medicine red dead online players are saying first time and uh, Team Nolix is obviously speaking about GTA Plus. And actually, I referred to this uh, new subscription GTA Plus in the title of this stream. And yeah, it's like basically $6 for pretty much nothing right now. Yeah, it's some, some cosmetics, a little bit of cosmetics, but this is. But you know what? I'm afraid, I'm really afraid that it's it's not over. That people are not gonna be buying GTA Plus too much. Yeah, a lot of people will buy it, don't get me wrong. Like I would say like 5% of the player base, active player base will buy it, which is a lot. Uh, however, not enough players will be buying it, like uh, less players than Rockstar want to. And what Rockstar would do in such situation? I mean, what do you think? Probably exclusive content, right? Bratik Martin donated HRK30 through Super Chat, but no message. Thank you, Bratik Martin. I ha I ha honestly, I have no idea what is HRK, but it's uh, like what kind of currency that is. Not like, I mean, I, uh, I, I just trying to guess, but I don't know. <laughs> so HRK uh, is what? Because it will tell me uh, about the country. HRK 
is a currency, HRK currency. Oh, so it's uh, Croatian, Croatian uh, money. I actually was pretty sure that in Croatia people are using Euro. As that's why I'm surprised because from from I know that Bratik Martin is from Croatia, but I was uh, from that region probably because of the name. Caro UK says Croatia. Yeah, I was just I was just surprised that Croatia is not using euros. I I, I was I was pretty sure. Jade M W six nine six donated twenty dollars. Hopefully you will make enough money from your super chat to help furnish your apartment. Uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, actually, I almost bought everything you know required, uh, which is like bed for kids, mattress for us, and the kitchen table. And chair, <laughs> computer chair. Uh, it's important when you work as a YouTuber, right? Uh, I took the, the cheapest one, uh, but and it, it was with a discount. That's why it's the cheapest one. Uh, and it's a, it's a good chair, actually. Not as good as I had, as I have in my Kiev apartment, but pretty good. And the table, actually, we bought table as well. Table is important. But, uh, for example, I'm using empty box as a, uh, you know, to place camera and lightning. Anyway, but let's not talk about me. Let's talk about greedy rockstar, right? And so what I was saying. I think that at some point Rockstar will take a look at the amount of money they are making from GTA Plus and they will think, oh, it's not enough. It's not like it's a small amount of money, but it's not enough money. So what would they do? Exclusive content, content for GTA Plus members. Like, not like some livery for your car but something important, some content. I'm afraid it's gonna happen. Maybe, uh, probably, not maybe. I think they're not gonna go too far with that and probably it will be an early access, for example, for new um, DLC. Like two weeks, for example. But still, it's, it's, it's gonna be so cheap. Evan Morris donated twenty dollars. Thank you, Evan. Your videos have been very helpful getting me started in Red Dead Online. Glad to hear that, Evan. And uh, I mean, it actually makes me a little bit. You know, I'm thinking about uh, the fact that I cannot really make any new helpful videos about Red Dead Online. I actually have one idea, pretty good one. I just had no time to... I, I you know, this idea visited me on February and I wanted to make this video on February. Pretty useful one, just, you know, like the ones that you like. Uh, how, unfortunately, I had not much time, so maybe... Maybe next next month I will I will finish it. But accept that idea, like uh, making useful videos about Red Dead Online right now, unfortunately, is impossible. I mean, I've made uh, all the possible guides, all the possible, you know, expl uh, you know top 10s, how to make money, how to spend money, what weapons to buy, about ability cards. I mean, there were no new ability cards for two, no, for two, po for two and a half year, for two and a half years, there were no new ability cards in Red Dead Online. Like, and even more, not much was changed. So it's, you know, not much you can do. 
Drifter Kid says, hey cat, hey to you Drifter Kids. And welcome, and welcome to everyone. Okay, where is this? Oh, guys, since we are, you know, as I've said, nothing happened in Red Dead Online. Uh, so, its situation is pretty, like, stable. <laughs> Let's call it stable, right? Uh... Let's, let's, you know, talk about what will happen, because as you know, this event will end next week on Tuesday. So what do you think will be next? My personal guess is that we will have collector roll month again, but, but still, it's, it's what I think. What do you think? Let me read chat while you are making your uh, conclusion. Where is your mic? There it is. There, it is. there is my mic. It's just I don't have a, you know, pantograph. So I'm just placed it on a table. Uh, Caro UK asks, how do we donate on Super Chat? I have no idea, honestly. I don't know how to donate it. I never had an option because, you know, Super Chat uh, is not, was not available for Ukraine. So I never had an option to tune it on on my streams, but even more, I had no, I could not, uh, you know, donate to someone to use this super chat as a viewer. So, I mean, I'm sorry, I, I have no idea yet. PlatyP says, this game is dead. So sad. Yeah, look, facts, not, not gonna, you know. Not gonna argue on that too much. Ringo Music NL says, we didn't have Naturalist yet, right? Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not quite sure if they gonna go with Naturalist uh, role month. Because it's like, they, they should know that people don't really like, overall don't like Naturalist. I mean, if they will make triple payouts, yeah, it will be it will be profitable. But like, and again, I'm not I'm not saying it's an update. Let's face it, it's gonna be event, and like, no one really cares what it, what is gonna be because active players already have enough money. But it's just you know out of curiosity. What do you think? Victor V says, hoping for trader roll bonus. Okay, I'm pretty sure there will be no trader roll bonus. Okay, uh, just because we had trader roll bonus twice since December. <clears throat> so, I don't think it's gonna happen. Evan Morris says, naturalist month would cause outrage. Exactly. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, the thing is, Rockstar don't care about outrage at all. Like, completely. So, but still, like, there is no real reason for them to make a naturalist troll month. Despite, they don't care about outrages, but I mean, they lose nothing if they will choose some other role. Penny says, I'm hoping for collector bonuses. I'm expecting collector bonuses. I, I have pretty, quite a lot of collections. Uh, so, yeah. Monk Barry Moon NL is quite optimistic, by the way. April collector. May naturalist, June update announcement, July update. Well, it's in, you know, I would say it's an optimistic way of uh, predicting things. Where is this collectible? I mean, I'm, I'm just running around and not finding anything. Should be here. Naturalist plus trader sells for a month. Actually, you know what? It might be a bonus for naturalist, but 
with some addition with some with something else it's kind of weird but why i never i never been in this place but it's like an invisible wall look i cannot uh, go further i guess it's upside Oh, player bounty, seven dollars. No, thank you. I still have uh, Pyro says I still have not tried animal transformation. Lol. Harriet is just now helping traders in a way. Uh, about animal transformation, funny thing is, it's still broken. <laughs> so you probably, I mean, with uh, not for all players, but for most players, it's broken. So what do I mean by broken? Uh, I actually gonna show you. Guys, you know what we're gonna do on this stream? I'm gonna go and perform animal transformation to show you how exactly it's broken. Oh, so there is a daily challenge. Nice. Uh, so yeah, let's go to some to some place where you can transform. For example, you can transform here at Bulger Glade. I believe right here. Transform into a pig. I'm not quite sure if I have this pamphlet on uh, console. I definitely bought it on a PC. Oh, legendary animal. No, it's not legendary animal. It's some dude wants to me to help him no thank you another day i for 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 a second i was you know i thought that i saw a blink on the map you know like when you get close to a legendary animal but it was not a yellow question mark just a yellow dot so anyway mate you said Let's have naturalist month, but double legendary spawns. Well, it's an interesting idea, but again, it's, it's going to be beneficial for traders, not for naturalists. Okay, let's let's go to to, to roads, and I'm going to be looking for collectibles by this road. Oni Love says, you have a voice of a radio host. I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. But thanks, I mean, wow. Well, it's good to hear, it's just I'm not quite sure if it's really so. Need Dutch outfit in Madame Nazar's store. Okay, it's a, probably at some point Dutch outfit, just like pretty much any characters from the store outfit, will appear uh, at Madame Nazar's store. O o obviously, if they will continue supporting Red Dead Online, right? Uh, which is again questionable. But if they will, they definitely will add outfits from the story mode because it's like they can pretend that they are making new content when they're doing so but it's not a new content by any means i mean it's cosmetics it's not something they created uh, right now recently because it was in the story and story is super old already i mean think about it red dead redemption 2 was released back in 2018 by the way i started to replay it again now on a pc and i already already getting closer to chapter three uh it's just because you know kids took xbox from me and i couldn't play in red dead redemption one but i wanted to but i just wanted to have something to play uh in the evening 
MSA7 says, what is this stream for? What are streams for usually? I'm just playing Red Dead Online and communicating, talking with audience, that's it. That's basically what this stream is for. Okay, I'm also testing how my internet and uh, you know, setup works. Nothing, no collectibles I'm finding. Nate Taylor says, hi, hello to you, Nate. I was away, uh, thanks to everyone who placed a like already. Like in return. Oh, we have super chat now. Mac. I'm not, I, I'm always confused if I should read this Mac, uh, this name. Oh, probably Mac. Mac donated 50. I guess it's pounds. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I guess it's pounds. And anyway, Mark, thanks. Thanks to you. I hope I pronounced name correctly. I'm sorry, I, I always mispronounce names. Oh, Cairo UK donated five same thing as Mark and says, I think I figured it. Testing. Thank you, Cairo. I guess it's pounds. Maybe Euro. No, Euro definitely has a different... Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. And thanks to anyone who placed a like already. It helps to... I don't know, I wanted to say it helps to promote the stream after it will end. You know, I always leave this uh, recording of the stream. But I'm not quite sure if in a current situation it actually can promote anything. Let's face it, Red Dead Online is kind of not that popular at the moment because rocks are abandoned it. Uh, so... But anyway, yeah, just, just place a like if, if you like this experience. And thanks to anyone who plays. And thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Pass away. Uh, so msfs says yes pound so oh, cool cobra says donation features aren't available in the country i currently in so i'm sorry no problem dude i mean i've been in this situation and even more like super weird oh let me show you my new cap cup cup i bought it with a discount but it's big. Actually, everything I bought for this uh, apartment, I bought with a discount. <laughs> you know, I mean. Discounts are cool. Uh, Spawn Freak says, what are PvP cat streams for? They are good for many situations. Sounds like an advertisement. And by the way, thank you, Spawn Freak for a uh, donation and for advertisement because yeah it's it sounds like yeah what are they good for pretty much for everything except for learning physics okay they are not good for learning physics I just, I just had to admit it, okay. Uh, anyway, I was talking about the situation with donations. I wanted to make, uh, you know, Patrick uh, Professional was making this charity stream like a month ago when war in Ukraine started and uh, he was gathering some money. And I also wanted, you know, to to, 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 to make a donation on his stream. But it was impossible for me to make a donation via this uh, charity platform on YouTube because, again, I don't even see the donation, you know, bar for some reason because it's not available for Ukraine despite the fact that they are, you know, gathering money for Ukraine. But anyway, I wanted to donate in a super chat and say, like, pay hey, Patrick, here you go. But it, it still was not available. So yeah, and I understand how it, how it works. How do you pronounce hryvnia, the Ukrainian money? It's it sounds like hryvnia. 
i in Ukraine obviously it's hryvnia hryvnia it's uh, if you if you read it in you know in uh, latin letters in english uh, it's it should sound like hryvnia but actually it sounds like hryvnia ось вам hryvnia Дякую. It's a possible conversation, which basically means here you go, гривня, and other person says thank you. Now I have гривня. Okay, so uh, when I make a super chat donation, it goes via my Google Play account. Probably Google Pay. Okay, I have no idea how to use the super chat. I will try to use it as a viewer, just to understand how it works. Uh, actually, um, actually, my Ukrainian credit card is not available, and I okay, okay, I will find out how. You should make a second account for Red Dead Online, like why I have this account I mean uh, okay guys look here is the thing it's not a problem to have different topics different games on one account for example not a big deal uh, YouTube actually finds audience pretty good separates audience so uh, for example I've made a video about GDN line right and I uploaded it and YouTube pretty fast realized that people who play Red Dead Online and don't play GTA Online, they are not interested in this video. And, uh, and that's it. Most viewers, Red Dead Online uh, players, did not even, don't even know that I've created some uh, quite a lot of guides for GTA Online already and they are pretty successful. I'm telling you, but YouTube is not showing it to Red Dead Online players because he knows that they are not interested. So with that being said, I don't see any problem in, you know, uploading different games on one channel. Yeah, it might like show you at the beginning as a game, but then algorithm will realize that you're not interested and will stop bothering you. Okay, so here you go, alligator. Bam. Oh, nice. Daily challenge. Easy. 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 Easy something. Okay, actually, this alligator was not sitting on the... I thought he said he... Uh, that uh, collectible is under this alligator, but it was not. Where is... So, I killed him for no reason at all. Drifter Kids says, your guides are very helpful. And Drifter Kids is one of uh, the players of both games. Red Dead Online and GTA Online. And actually, he played GTA Online for way longer than me. So, you can trust him. Al P says, uh, says in Russian, but I will translate you. Hello, cat. Please tell to your subscribers about Bucha. Everyone should know about killers and their methods. And yeah, it's a, it's a terrible situation. I mean, so today, Bucha, it's a city. It's a small city close to Kiev. Uh, actually, I, I have a summer house close not not like super close but nearby closer to Baradyanka but anyway and this city was um, uh, how to say it in English I don't know but anyway Ukrainian uh, forces took it finally so there were no Russians any, anymore and Bucha was almost destroyed and there are terrifying a terrifying video and photos from from Bucha like 
just you know super sad to see it it's it's a Im enormous amount of cruelty and like dead bodies people tortured uh obviously with with you know russian forces who was there and looking looking at such videos it's it's extremely painful and you know this summer my kid oldest kid went to Bucha and he had a football summer camp there so I remember the city small quiet pretty nice city it was destroyed but the worst thing is that a lot of people were killed and uh, speaking about that I will definitely make a charity stream this week I will try to make it as soon as possible and uh, we're gonna be you know again supporting one of the organizations charity organizations that are helping people in Ukraine because it's uh, you know anyway I told you uh, you 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 definitely saw something in the news but I just decided that it's uh, it's important to mention it it was liberated exactly it was uh, liberated by our forces so here we go uh, if you just joined you might uh, you know ask yourself why I was going here I was going here to try uh, to make uh, an animal transformation let's try to make an animal transformation here you go oh no I have not enough Harrietum officinalis Bah. uh let's i actually don't really remember where this where where i can find uh harrieto mafizinalis let's go and find finding harrieto mafizinalis without interactive map is kind of challenging task i would say Okay, let me actually check the statistics about the stream while we have a small uh, pause. Oh, 238 viewers. Hello, welcome. And 235 likes. So fast amount of likes is pretty much the same as amount of viewers. It's a good result. Thank you to everyone who placed a like. Beans. <laughs> I said beans instead of sanks, but like for Ed that online it's the same. There is Harrietum in Panther Forest. Yeah, but I mean like I'm not quite sure where exactly. And if I can you know what uh, I will probably open interactive map. I read that online interactive map and so so should you do uh, if you are looking for Harrieta Mafizinalis because it's, it's pretty hard to find so it's also known as Gene Robke's map uh, let me let me actually post this link into into chat because many people don't for some reason many people players in Red Dead Online don't know about this extremely useful resource and I, I suggest you to save this link somewhere it's useful for for pretty much anything for daily challenges for collector role for something stupid as collecting Harrietum officinalis <laughs> something completely pointless but just just I mean it's 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 awesome resource. So here we go. Harrieta Mafizinalis. Actually there is only one Harrieta Mafizinalis nearby. It's close to the Panther. Okay, let me actually place a point on a on a map. It's right it should be somewhere here. Okay, let me double check. No, it's not here.
it's probably it's rather here so anyway let's go and and grab this horiatum officinalis you might say well it's it's pretty stupid collecting horiatum officinalis yeah but, but what i mean why not I hope that Panther will not attack me because I always on my streams I always suffer from Panthers. They attack me again and again and again and kill me. They always caught me by surprise. So it should be somewhere here, right? Or it's Horietum officinalis. Well there are a lot of maybe it's a maybe it's a wrong maybe it's a wrong place. Redskin says, glad to have you back for a bit. Uh, I was actually streaming uh, like recently, but it's just for last... Uh, oh, here we go, Horatum Officinalis. For last week or even more, I had terrible internet connection. Like terrible, absolutely. Uh, and it, it was pretty sad because, you know... With each charity stream, we were doing such a great job of helping people. And I was feeling like really depressing that I cannot help. Okay, let's go to the second location for the Horietum Officinalis. So, but, but I just couldn't stream. Couldn't stream at all. Here we go. Horietum. We are going for you. Should be somewhere here. Double check. Yep. So let's go. Panthers, Drifter Kid says. Panther and bears are annoying. Bears are not to me. Uh, but panthers, yes, yes, they are sneaky. Mike Sanchez says, we do need an, a map update to Mexico. Would be more fun. Uh, okay, it's my personal opinion, but I think that unfortunately something like a map update and, you know, aid in Mexico will not change too much. Yeah, it's going to be fun for a little bit, but map is already pretty big. The problem is there is not enough content. So, map update with Mexico, yeah, it's cool, but like people will play for a few hours and then will leave again. But, so if they will add Mexico, it should be with something, with some story happening in Mexico. Uh, with some new quests, new activities, and preferably heists and properties. Oops, I kind of... Or a heist, Nate Taylor says. Yeah, heist is a, is a more interesting thing. Malik says, oh, player housing. Yeah, properties, it's good. But I mean, you don't, like, they can add heists and properties to an existing map. And it would be super awesome already. So... Dracaris Gaming says, how about a call to arms map of Guarma and Sisica? Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. I mean, some, some activities, call to arms, uh, telegram missions, pretty cool, sounds pretty cool. Even, even I, I mean, I don't, I don't really like uh, blood money missions, but even opportunities or blood money missions can take place at Guarma and it would be awesome. So, and it's not that hard to do, right? I mean, Guarma is, is already there. They can add it, like, not easily, but relatively easy. Monk Barry Moon NL says the map is absolutely already massive. And in Mexico would just be another beautiful area that is underappreciated. Yeah, that, 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 that was my point. And guys, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I I don't want to see Mexico. No, obviously I want to see Mexico. Uh, 
but I'm just saying that there are more important things to add as for now. Some interesting content, heists obviously, something and engaging like housing, properties, farms, something like this. And then, you know, if they will want to develop further, 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 further. I'm pretty sure I mispronounce it as as much as I can. But anyway, you got you got what I was trying to say. Uh, so if they will decide to continue supporting Red Dead Online, someday they might add Mexico. And probably as a part of I mean it would be super cool if it's gonna be a part of Red Dead Redemption 1 remake. Just to mention. Sounds great, right? Sloth Nails says, best way to get gold. Uh, funny enough, daily challenges is still pretty good way to get gold. Uh, call to arms, if you have friends, is, is a great way. Don't forget about uh, resetting awards. And actually, you know what, blood money missions, if you don't have any role, blood money missions uh, is, is, is fine. It's fine to get the first gold. Are you gonna be buying beans plus uh, st stress level 100 asks? Are you kidding me? Of course I will. I mean, have you read the description? You receive unlimited amount of free beans. Not like unlimited, but I'm gonna buy it. And I mean, uh, it's really interesting. What do you think? Like, let me know in the chat. Uh, aside the jokes about beans plus capital A minus, what do you think? Is it how likely that Rockstar someday will introduce some sort of a paid subscription, you know, just like Red GTA uh, GTA Plus into Red Dead Online? I'm not even saying that it somehow will be connected to real new content or something, but just just a subscription. Well, like, they can do pretty much the same subscription as uh, exists in GTA Online right now, and there is no new content really. But they still gonna make some money with like super low effort, right? So I personally think it's likely. Not, you know, maybe not immediately, but someday I think it, it, it might happen. Mustafa says, uh, Mustafa Braxton, very likely. Yeah, so Mustafa agrees with me. Okay, where is this? I'm super bad today with finding collectibles. Caro UK says, I think it would be a mistake if they did. I mean, mistake uh, by what parameter? Uh, they will definitely earn some extra money with like no effort at all. And I mean, what they are losing? Uh, they lose nothing. They, you might say, well, they losing reputation. Look, face this. Rockstar don't care about reputation don't care at all to insane degree i mean what they are doing recently definitely tells us their position and their position is following you might hate us you might dislike us we will be ignoring you for no reason but it's not important because we rockstar think and maybe even sure that when we will release GTA 6, you will forget about all this stuff and will gladly give us your money. That's basically what they are saying right in our faces for the last uh, four months at least, but d definitely more for the last four months. 
So they don't care about reputation at all. Then uh, Helen says, I, I would buy Red Dead Plus subscription for M1899 pistols. But I mean, it's a, it's a new content. It's a, it's a different kind of story. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen like M1899 uh, with, with subscription. Caro UK says, because people like me wouldn't do it unless they gave new content. Yeah, people like you would not do it, but they don't really care. They Because someone will buy it and basically what they are doing is they are making extra money uh, by doing nothing. You know, it's not that hard for them to make a new skin, right? Or uh, let's say add uh, horse masks into the subscription. It's not even a new content, but a lot of players don't have horse masks. So I'm just saying uh, they might do it. Calamity, uh, Calamity says it might replace outlaw passes. Ex that's actually something I'm afraid of. And I, I even made uh, released a video like a few days ago, I believe. And I think, I mean, look at the situation. Outlaw passes were one of the few methods that Rockstar were actually making money out of Red Dead Online, right? Because a lot of new players don't have enough gold and they wanted to have an Outlaw Pass, so they bought it. Yeah, they were making money only from like beginners, complete beginners, but there are always enough beginners in Red Dead Online. And then, suddenly, Rockstar stopped making Outlaw Passes. And I remind you, Outlaw Passes is not a new content. It's basically one cosmetic outfit, one hat, and that's it. It's not that hard to make an Outlaw Pass. But they stopped. Why, you might ask. I, I, I will ask, like, why? It's, it's, it sounds stupid. I mean, they decided not to use one of the few monetization options on Red Dead Online that they had. For a little effort, they received some money. And now they said, okay, we, we're not going to do it. But why? And I'm afraid that they are, they want uh, to have a situation where a lot of players, active players, never even saw Outlaw Pass because, you know, funny thing, but if someone started to play m more than four months ago, less than four months ago, so since December, uh, this person never even saw an Outlaw Pass. And some players already forgot about Outlaw Passes. Like, oh, like Outlaw Pass, what, what was that? Oh, they were, meh, uh, Outlaw Pass 5 was lame, and so on. And in this situation, introducing this Red Dead Plus Capital, Capitale Minus would be, you know, not as uh, damaging for them and more effective, let's say. Let's go and kill all this. Bam, bam, boom, bam. I always use shotgun or elephant rifle for such missions just because it's... No, no, no. Because... Uh... Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm so... I had to use... I had to use... Tonic because they were kind of hitting me too hard. TH700R uh, donated 11 SEK. I will, I, will, I will learn so many new currencies today. Uh, I think it's Sweden, Sweden money. Because in Sweden there should be Krona. Again, I was pretty sure that Sweden already uses uh, Euro. Anyway, TH700R, thanks. And guys, if a a someone know what SUK SEK is, let me know in the chat, please.
uh, need sad zero says code is an outlaw pass exclusive yeah for example this code is an outlaw pass exclusive T O T H seven hundred R replied himself. Yes, Sweden Krona. Again, I'm I'm surprised that so many European countries are still not using Euro. I mean, about Sweden, I was pretty sure that Sweden uses Euro already, but. Live to learn. Okay, so this should be an. Uh, if you just joined, I'm reminding you that on this stream we are doing pretty weird task: collecting collecting Harietum officinalis to transform into a boar. It's uh, it's really weird. You might say, why why would you do that? It's stupid. Yes. Indeed, but I want to show that this transformation is not working and the best way to show something is to do it yourself. Weaponized baby eyes, <laughs> weaponized baby eyes, he's saying, is that Cossack's head is a limited time closing item? Yeah. It actually was in sale uh, like a uh, few months ago, I believe. Maybe maybe in, in January or in February. Okay, let me ho feed the horse. It's not cool that my horse is hungry. Johnny Blue says something interesting. Johnny Blue, 1977. Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Sweden don't use Euro. I was in Bulgaria two years ago and I, I'm pretty sure I was paying with Euro everywhere. I might be wrong. I know that Bulgarian traditional currency called uh, Lei, Lei, I believe, uh, but I think I was paying in Euro. No, again, I might be wrong. Let's let's uh, jump to Ma Manzanita post because there is a lot of a lot of Harrietum officinalis around it. I even remember where there is a one spot close to to the um, moonshine shack. Let's go. And by the way, if you just joined, hello and welcome. And okay, so the, there is a there is something collectible. Oh yeah, tarot card. Quite often you might find the tarot cards uh, close to your moonshine shack, or even not a moonshine shack. ST says UK don't use Euro even when uh, we were in Euro in Eurozone. Yeah, I know that UK was not uh, using Euros. I forgot where exactly, but I think somewhere here this should be a Harrietum officinalis. Because I remember I have not looked uh, at the map. Uh, I remember it was somewhere close to the moonshine shack. Might be wrong. Nate Taylor says, best role in your opinion. Uh, as you know, it's, it depends. Yeah, if you ask me about uh, the role I mostly spend my playtime with, it's gonna be collector. Uh, just, you know, it's so chilling. But... Uh, to be honest, Bounty Hunter after improvement is also cool. Trader, 
I always enjoyed hunting in Red Dead Online, so and Trader is all about hunting. So again, it's a good role. M Moonshiner is a good role. Uh, naturalist, meh, not so, <laughs> not so much, but. So, I mean, right now, uh, if we're talking about roles, they are more or less balanced. Yes, naturalist uh, needs some something, some love from, I mean, if they will add storyline for Gus and hunting legendary animals, I, I would say that even naturalist is good. Okay, I'm, I'm, it seems like I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong... Oh, I, I think it should be here. Or maybe not. Let me check them up. No, it's right where I'm standing. It should be right here. Let's go and check it. James says, I forgot the naturalist role even existed. Uh... I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I understand why you forgot. So it should be somewhere here. Hmm. Maybe I just don't see it on my screen, but it should me. Should me should be somewhere here. Surprise attack! We're not expecting this. Oh, here there it is. There it is. Here you go. And let's see, now we have four, and I believe we need five uh, to transform into a boar. Uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah Schmitz says, looks like Red Dead Redemption 2 could be my last Rockstar game. I understand why. They had a pretty good run, aside from shitty remakes and the next GTA 5 release on a future console, so there is not much to expect, but the Bounty Hunter is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, recent, recently, I, I said it many times, I'm gonna repeat it, but recently Rockstar was making such a terrible job, I mean, like, Think about it. It's lose after lose after lose. First, they ban uh, people who make mods for old titles. Uh, it's not cool. They not only ban them, they sue them. There's been no respect. Then they release GTA 3 the trilogy for 60 bucks. 60 bucks. For, for for pretty weird remaster. It's not even a remake. It's not a good good thing. It's cash grab. Then they abandon Red Dead Online. Then they ignore save Red Dead Online, which again is it's just not cool. And last thing, no, it's not last. Then they have instead of expanded and enhanced GTA 5, they basically sell to people 60 fps port <laughs> so it's it should be a patch uh it's no new content not not so much no new physics but they sell it i bought it just to review it but it's in my opinion it's not that much of a great deal and the last thing is like gta plus bam in your face <laughs> like is is this something that respected companies should do? Sarah Schmitz donated 20 euros. Thank you, Sarah. Big, big thanks. 
Oh, now, now we see it on the screen. For some reason, there is a delay between screen and chat, but I, I, I mean, I don't mind reading it twice. Thank you, Sarah, again. Alan Kellers asks, did you complete all the roles? I complete all the roles long time ago. I complete them on Xbox. I complete them all on uh, PC. I mean, I play, I played this game a lot. <laughs> I can, there is nothing for me to complete uh, for a long time. And it's, it's pretty sad. I mean, I don't mind to play doing something funny in the game, but like Rockstar don't want me to do it. So there should be Harrieta Maficinal is close to the letter E according to interactive uh, map. Let's go and check it. Let's go and check it. How a special works was worth $60, don't you think? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, I see a sarcasm here. But uh, just in case, I will reply, no, I think it's not worth $60. Kielan, 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 Rockstar has something serious fixing work to do, but until they, uh, but until they hit them in the wallet, they won't realize it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. So they are ignoring community, releasing lazy cash grabs and so on. But so what? Are they losing money because of such behavior? The answer is no. <laughs> People are like, like, I mean, just just think about it. It's, it's from official report. They made nine million dollars from GTA 3 Definitive Edition uh, Remaster. Nine million dollars. And it was developed not even by Rockstar, they outsourced it. So it's like an easy money. It's like boom, 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 GTA Plus, boom. Uh, remake, boom. Expanded and enhanced, boom, boom. They, they, they lose nothing. That's the problem. Uh, Joachim, probably it's Joachim Fudge donated 10 euros. Thank you, Joachim. And here we go. Here we go. Message. So, yeah, guys, that's the problem. Like, how, why they would correct their behavior? They do something not cool, like GTA Plus, and they still make money. Money, money, money. Why would they change? <laughs> That's the biggest question. I mean, they're a company, not a person. Well, you might say, well, they're losing reputation. I repeat again, they don't care about reputation. There is no such thing to show uh, to the, uh, the for Strauss Zelnik to show to the shareholders as reputation graph like no one cares he he speaks it's a take to ceo if you don't know uh, strauss zelnik and he says look we earn some money nine millions boom easy and everyone is like oh great nine millions do you think some of the shareholders really care about metacritic score uh, of uh, gta 3's definitive edition the trilogy. <laughs> no. Do you think that someone, some of them, really cares about like? I don't know. Uh, bad reviews. Nah. Nine millions. Here you go. And now it's even more. They will sell more and more. Now it's on discount. I'm pretty sure it always will be on a discount. But they will make some money from it for a long time. So. Uh, it's a sad reality. I'm not blaming anyone, uh, but I'm just saying. And and uh, the thing is, I'm not quite sure if this amount, if this money they've made, includes money that Microsoft 
paid them. Because I remind you that one part of this trilogy, San Andreas, was actually free for Xbox Game Pass users. And I played it for free. I tested it for free because, like, I have not completed it. I'm not a big fan of playing 20 years old games, uh, actually, if there are so many new games that I have not played. And uh, even more, I played uh, GTA San Andreas back in the day, like 20 years ago. So. But I, know, I understand, they sell nostalgia, it's absolutely fine to pay money if you have a nostalgia and, and you know, just to have these cool feelings. Uh, but I kind of lost my <laughs> I kind of lost my mm, line of uh, logic, let's say. But but what I'm saying, they do something that everyone criticizes, and they still print money. No one will ever change. Weaponized baby eyes says, true, rockstars are very greedy. They, yes, they need money, but they want more and... Yeah, they want more. It's, it's how it works. And they want more money and do less job. And, and it works. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing. I'm not even saying it's a problem. It's a thing. Train of thought, cat. MSFS says, yeah, tra I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, sounds kind of funny, but I lost it. Where is my train of thought? You know what? Let's go and try to transform into a deer. Because I'm pretty sure that for deer transformation, you only need five Harietum officinalis. And deer transformation is like here. Here, I believe. Let's go there. What horse is that and what saddle? Lucas asks. Uh, saddle is pretty easy to recognize. So you see this skull. Uh, it's a Nacodoches. And horse is, it's a shire, pretty cheap horse, but again, if you have Nacodoches, if you have stirrups, don't forget to buy stirrups. But anyway, with any horse you will be absolutely fine and shire just looks awesome. Malek Tok says, Rockstar is Dutch for sure. Yeah, and it's a, you know, there is a irony in this. Rockstar definitely tuned into Dutch. And you know, if we're talking about Dutch, Dutch was a pretty cool person. At least at... I still think that at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 2 story, he's already... A, it's not like he changed. I don't believe he changed. Maybe someday I will make a video on my point of view. But I think that he was pretty bad person at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption's 2 story. But anyway, back in the day, when let's say when Arthur was young, let's say 10 years before beginning of, uh, before Blackwater, let's say 10 years before Blackwater uh, massacre, Dutch was a pretty interesting person, Idea, Id, idealist. Like this noble thief. But he changed. You cannot fight gravity, right? You cannot fight change. That was Dutch's saying at some moment. Okay, let's go and try to turn ourself into a deer.
Joseph says, it took Rockstar 8 years to make this game, give them a chance to recoup the money, make profit, then make additional content. 8 years. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. And you know what, uh, 8 years right now in a current, just, just don't say about 8 years, okay, in the internet, because people will, will think that you, anyway, it's one, it's one of the bad memes right now. Anyway, but I, I see your point. Uh, however, you know what? Rockstar earned back all the money when they released this game. They earned all the money back pretty fast. And they're making a lot of profits. I'm not saying that, you know, it's, it's not okay to make profit if you've done some good job. No, I, uh, I agree. Yeah, they've made the great game, they're making money. But, but, it's already time for them to, I mean, they released Red Dead Online, right? It's a separate project from Red Dead Redemption 2. And if they released it and started to sell it as standalone and started to sell gold bars, it should be treated as different projects, separate from Red Dead Redemption 2. So stop saying that, oh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a great game. Yes, it, it's a great game. They've made it and they've made a lot of money. Now they have a separate project, Red Dead Online. A lot of people saw, bought it separately, as standalone. A lot of people bought gold bars because they thought that there will be some continuation. So this game has future, right? And, and now we're talking about Red Dead Online. And Rockstar is not doing any sort of a great job here. Not at all. That's my point. And it's, it's a good game, yeah. I, I'm not saying that Red Dead Online is a bad game. But when you sell to people online project separately and you sell gold there so you have microtransactions people you know they assume that this online project will be supported and developed and when companies stop stop doing it well it's not cool it's not okay It would be cool, I just, you know, out of context, but I just had this thought that it would be cool to have Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox. Uh, I'm playing on Xbox Series X, by the way. Uh, it would be cool to have it with 60 FPS someday. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be a free upgrade. It's going to, we will have to pay money. But I mean, this game still looks amazing. Just awesome. Joseph says, uh, Oh, Caro, uh, super chat I have. Caro UK, because you tell it how it is with Red Dead Redemption, others don't. Uh, my first one was a test toward an even bigger mug. That's <laughs> that one. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Caro. And thanks for saying that I save, you know. I don't think I'm the only one who tells uh, how it is, how the situation is. Because I recently, you know what's funny? Recently I don't see too many people or even, uh, you know, too many people publicly sp speaking something pleasant about uh, Rockstar, really, because even like, uh, remember back in, if you are on this channel for a long time, you remember, at the, at the end of November, I released uh, a video or something like, oh, Red Dead is finally officially dead, right, 
because I figured out out of data that I had that there will be no update in December and nothing will happen. And uh, you know, you know, I've made this thumbnail with uh, Arthur, who has this Joker face. Anyway, I received so much hate back then. People were defending Rockstar like heavily, like, "Oh no, you're wrong. There will be an update in a few weeks in December." I saw, <laughs> I saw a lot of YouTubers uh, releasing videos like. Prepare to the December update. Here is five steps you need to do to prepare yourself to an update. And obviously there was no update, so this video is aged like milk. But anyway, a lot of people were defending uh, Ro Rockstar, like a lot of. And recently I don't see too many defenders, like, actually. So Rockstar managed to somehow lose even people who were defending them no matter what, even like biggest fans. It's, and, and so what, you know, the weirdest thing about this, it's like there was no reason for them to do it. They could have managed this situation much better talking to audience, communicating, you know, being more open. Caro UK says, just saw Trade Road on your stream, my favorite. I actually loved Trade Road a lot, but then at some point it, uh, it became filled with trolls. I don't know if this thing still works. But you know, people are troll players are trolling you with uh, dynamite, throwing you off the uh, wagon, or destroying, uh, destroying this carriage, uh, and lasso, lasso trolls. So you know, trolls you with lasso. I, I, hopefully, Rockstar fixed it, but I don't think so. Anyway, I, I was I used to play this a lot. I actually don't, I don't like any of the roll events except trade road uh, but you know as always there are trolls outlaw chuck says i still love playing this game so do i i mean it's so chilling and immersive but the thing is, I mean, I used to play Red Dead Online a lot, like a lot, and it was, it was, it's still cool, but I mean, right now I, I only play Red Dead Online uh, during streams and when I am listening, listening to some podcast and I don't, I want to do something at the same time. Because I hate listening to podcasts and not doing anything. I feel like I'm wasting time. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, on the background, I'm playing Red Dead Online. So it's like a chilling experience. Not, uh, n you, you don't waste too much, uh, you know, of your attention when just play in a free room. It's beautiful, still looks good. And at the same time, I'm listening to the podcast. Matt K says, trade roads still have these issues. And Caro UK says, yes, trolls are there. Challenge is not to let them defeat me. I mean, I, if they are still there, I don't want such a challenge, actually. Because if there is one troll, it's possible. But if there are a lot of them, well, I'm sorry, it's just... Oh, here we go. Anyway, uh, if you just joined, you might ask me, like, why you were gathering all this useless Harrietum officinalis? It's not even working. And that's actually something that I wanted to prove, that it's not working. Actually, you know what? There is a tiny chance, at least for me, that it will work. 
And since I have different internet connection now, uh, different than I used to have, um, it might work, but let's test it, okay? Uh, but first, Lucas is asking, what is that code and can you still get it? No, you cannot get it. It's a code from Outlaw Pass 4. So it's not available anymore. Anyway, let's try to test it. Moment of truth. Om nyam 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 nyam. And... Uh, because previously, for the last uh, one and a, one year at least, maybe more, I was just turning into an animal and instantly turning back. Oh no, it's walking. So it was, it was, uh, it was not walking for me because I was uh, because of internet connection. But I, and I had pretty good internet connection. It, Woohoohoo! I'm a deer! Woohoohoo! Nice! I mean, it's still stupid. Uh, the problem is, you, uh, you transform into a deer only for like 5 minutes, I believe. You can extend for one more minute if you have additional hurry atom. And you cannot leave the area. Let me actually show you why is there is no area they fixed it let's try to leave the area malik says he lied it works I, i'm surprised that it works i actually uh, before transformation i actually made this remark that it might work because of I changed internet connection. But I tried this uh, transformation like a few weeks ago. Oh, you see, I cannot leave this area. Yeah, so area is still set. You cannot leave it. Here you go. Bam! Haha, <laughs> who's the boss? Bam! In your face. Bam! <laughs> you know what? It's kind of funny. Oops. Can you attack other players as a deer? Yes, you can. Drifter Kid says, imagine if there is a moon where you play as legendary animal and others are protecting, hunting you. Yeah, I mean, it would be super awesome. Uh, not like super awesome, but kind of funny, funny mode. Uh, but again, for some reason, it's not in the game. Go find the bear. Uh, berries to uh, you know I cannot leave this area it's restricted uh, if you live uh, pretty close area around the transformation point it uh, transform you back for some reason I don't know why it's kind of stupid so I cannot I cannot uh, get to the to bear and you know what that's, that's the biggest problem I mean this mechanic looks I mean, I, I definitely see some fun with this uh, mechanic, but uh, two problems. Restricted area, pretty slow, small, of the transformation where you can be a deer or other animal. And second, like, it ends pretty soon. It's like five minutes only, if I remember correctly. Did they stop limiting the range? No, it's still there. Let me show you. Let me show you. You see, when when you go out of range, it should be somewhere here. Yeah, see? So it's limited. You can see the area if you leave it. So, I mean, it can be a fun mechanic, but right now it's kind of pointless 
it's it's like you run around for five minutes and that's it So I'm pretty sure that no one uses it because I, I know that it's not only me who had this problem with transformation. It was broken for many, many players, for a lot of players. Uh, and uh, even if it's not broken, I mean, you need to spend a lot of time gathering Harietum for what? Marshall de Groot says, imagine if you could transform during call to arms and headbutt people. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of trolls would use it, uh, you know, this feature in a bad way. Oh, I just checked. We have 404 likes. Thank you. Thank you for placing a like. And thanks to all Patreon supporters and to everyone who used Super Chat today. Because I just activated this feature. I don't know. I didn't know if it's gonna work and now I see that it's working. A little more. I might... I might buy something. Would be cool if in front of your collect trip uh, trip on herbs and your range would be to a certain region. Hack Finn said would be cool if in form in if in form. Oh yeah, if in form you can yeah it would be cool if you can extend range uh, by eating uh, Harietum and uh, collect others. As a Harrietum and extend it again and again. So yeah, you might like travel around the map. Rolo 10. Watched you for two years roughly. Good luck, friend. Thank you, Rolo. Two years, wow, quite a lot. So you So you watched me even before Naturalist update, right? Well, so Old school, old school viewer. Wheels of Wheels or Death 42 says YouTubers buying GTA Plus is gonna be a huge problem, and this people like GTA Man are showing their hypocrisy. Okay, I would disagree with you, okay? Uh, because people might buy it just to for review purposes. For example, I bought expanded and enhanced GTA 5 because I just wanted to, you know, to give my opinion to audience. If it's worth it, if it's not, like, uh, if graphics is really good and so on. I needed to try it. So, YouTubers, as long as they share honest opinion, for example, let's say someone is buying GTA Plus and saying like, guys, I bought it just to show you this skin, okay? This is a unique skin you get for GTA Plus. Here, that's how it looks. But in my opinion, it's definitely not worth uh, $6, okay? It's just one skin. I think it's a bad deal, but I still, I just wanted to show it to you. So there is no hypocrisy in this. If you, I mean, people should buy products for reviews. It would be much worse, actually. You know what? It would be much worse if Rockstar would give GTA Plus for free to all the reviewers. Uh, YouTubers, uh, uh, I don't know, Twitch streamers. No one streams GTA online on Twitch. Not RP, but still. And let's say Twitter uh, accounts with high following. In that case, I would definitely see a problem. But 
Anyway, I, ju I just don't think it's a big deal. I mean, let's say they will release Red Dead Online Plus, right? I'm telling you, I will buy it anyway, just to show you. Guys, I, I bought it, I know what am I talking about, and it's lame. <laughs> don't buy it. <laughs> I, I don't I bought it so you don't have to something like this Rollo 10 says yep I'm level 715 well in that case I'm not surprised that you've been watching for for two years if level 715 that's a lot Drifter Kid says, yeah, it sucks to suck, but someone has to test it, whether you agree, disagree about the decision. I mean, yeah, someone has to test stuff. Uh, it's uh, like, honestly, knowing that some YouTuber bought GTA Plus, do you think it really will increase amount of people who will want to buy it? Like... People don't care if someone bought it. People care if about reviews, about, about someone bought it, not necessarily a YouTuber, a, any player, and gave honest opinion on it. So, uh, but some people will not buy it. I'm pretty sure professional will not buy it even to make a review. S School Cat says, I like turtles. Turtles are fine. They are small. Not, not even small, but they are fun. Especially Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like them too. Marco Tha Low says, I hope Red Dead Online will get much love from Rockstar soon. This game has so much potential. We all hope for that, Marco. But unfortunately, you know, uh, we hope but not expect. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. I don't think uh, Rockstar, at least if we're talking about next few months, I don't think anything will happen. I'm not expecting any surprise updates or something like that. We still we're gonna get on Tuesday another monthly event. Maybe even who knows? Maybe they will decide to make this events for two month period. Anyway, with just uh, discounts and bonuses, and that's it. Maybe just maybe in some way in July, but again they are not testing anything, unfortunately. Carl Moral says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 90s. Uh, they were cool. But you know what? I watched a newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not because I wanted to, but because I had to. Because my kid was watching them all the time. So I kind of watched uh, the ones that were released like, I don't know, in the middle of 10, like 7 years ago, so maybe 10 years ago. And that Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were cool too. Not as good as classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But still, I mean, they are fine. I enjoy it. I had to enjoy it because I had no choice. I still had to watch them. Lucas says, I hope they will... Oh, 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 there are wolves. Lucas says, I hope they will add double money for trader. I think it's not gonna happen because, I repeat, there already was a double trader money. Not even double. Uh, not even once. Not even once. 
Okay, let's finish this wolf because Harriet will not like it. Carl Moral says, Seth Rogen is coming out with a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well. I hope you are joking. I really hope you are joking. Malik Tok says, the thing is that GTA Plus is cheaper than $10 shark card. So if you don't look closely, it looks like a good deal. I don't know. Uh, to me, it doesn't look like a good deal, uh, like uh, at all. Like really, because it's just you know five hundred thousand. It's it's pathetically small amount of money in GTA Online nowadays. How old are you and your kid? Uh, I'm 36, I believe. Yeah. And my oldest uh, son is 9 years old. So, he was watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in a day when he was much younger. Like 5 years ago, I believe. Good to see you, Cat Dwayne says. Good to see you, Dwayne. Welcome and hello. Just a small chilling talking stream. You know. Oh, I've been streaming for almost two uh, two hours now. Pretty cool. Unexpected. Marcus Stephanie donated CHF. 20. Okay, let, let me let me think. You know, it's like a riddle. What currency is that? CHF. First of all, thank you, Marcus. Thank you for supporting the channel and me. Uh, CHF is... I have no idea what is it. What is CHF? F is Frank prob probably. Oh, I, I have no idea. I give up. Swiss. But Swiss francs, uh, why it's CH? I thought that it should be Swiss money, but like uh, YC instead of S. Let, let me Google it. CHF. Yes. Uh oh, <laughs> it says that CHF is cognitive heart failure. Okay, no, <laughs> it's the first definition. But second definition is really Swiss franc. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, it's confusing. Why C uh, instead of S here? I would never, I would never guess that. Oh, Marcus uh, explains it. CH means Confederatico Helvetia. Wow. It's something that I actually, I, I never knew about this. Cool. Bugs Bunny says, hello cat and chat. Hello to you. Hello to chat. Hello to everyone who... It's kind of, it's kind of late right now, right? It's, it's late already.
Dwayne says, every day is a school day. Exactly. Live to learn. But it's pretty cool. Actually, I was surprised how many viewers from Switzerland I have. Uh, you know, obviously because Switzerland is not a really... A lot of people live there. It's not overpopulated. But... But it's cool. Drifter Kid says, I mean, take two bot Zynga for NFTs. Yeah, actually, again, uh, we all gonna be, not all, not all, but a lot of us will be surprised to see, uh, like, uh, how soon take two will introduce some, some stuff like NFTs like uh you know this traditional to mobile games monetization systems and uh, I, i'm afraid to be right but i think that it's gonna happen extremely soon and that gta 6 might not be something that we all expect you know great single player experience with no monetization Oh no, oh no, Ubisoft will be like, oh, Ubisoft, when they will see GTA 6, might be like, oh, that's greedy. Oh, not cool, not cool, <laughs> Rockstar. <laughs> but yeah, you will see. Shahar uh, donated 15... I, I'm sorry, and said hello there, hello to you, Shahar. Uh, thanks for donating 15 money. I I don't know what currency is that. I've never seen such, and I don't know how to Google it. But anyway, thanks. And hello, hello there. Hello there as well. Let's travel to uh, to the snowy regions. I love Colter. I really love Colter. Danos and Gaming says, I believe right now mobile games are making more money now than PC games. That's it. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's not something we believe. It's a stone cold fact. Mobile games are making insane money right now. I mean, think about the Zynga. Capitalization is what, like something around 15 billion dollars, right? And take a look at the games that they are, they were making. Like, oh, uh, you probably never even heard of these games, and they make an insane amount of money, like enormous. I only knew Zynga because they were making Zynga Poker at, at some point there were rumors that they will, the Zynga Poker will be introducing real life uh, money games. Oh look, it's a shiny bright weather uh, in, in Coulter, it's always so cool. Shahar says, it's Israel Shekel. Oh, cool. Cool. Now I know. I never saw this icon, icon for, uh, for shekels. Probably because I never seen shekels in real life as well. Uh, but cool. Pembroke says, like Farmville. Yeah, but I mean, I never heard about Farmville. What, what is even Farmville? And they are making so much money. I mean, they have capitalization uh, higher than many pretty big AAA game companies. For example, Microsoft purchased Bethesda. Not Bethesda, but Zenimax games. But anyway, it's like take two in Rockstar, Zenimax and Bethesda. Anyway, Bethesda for I believe six billion dollars, right? And Bethesda has so much IPs: Fallout, 
what else? Elder Scrolls, and and so on. It's a it's, it's a huge company, six billions, and here we go. Some Zynga, who knows what it is, like how much? Fifteen billion. Just compare, and there are some huge companies like Tencent. Who are making so much money that like no one is even dreaming about. So yeah, this market is huge. Mobile games are huge. I mean, I can tell you because since the moment I had like 1000 subscribers, I started to receive uh, advertisement offers from Let's call this game Shade Rado Legends. It's not a real name, but you know what I'm talking about. And I was surprised by how much money they are willing to offer uh, to such a small YouTuber. And, and they still send in me this offers. So, oh, dear. And, and they are like, whatever. It's, it's definitely copy pasted. They sell it to, they send it to anyone. We would like to offer campaign uh, for March uh, uh, of our super awesome dark fantasy game. And the funny thing is, they even have the script. Like, <laughs> what do you have to say? Oh, guys, look for me in this awesome dungeon. Ooh, I'm not gonna play it, <laughs> but go on and check it. <laughs> Uh, it's so it's so pathetic. As you probably understand, I never took such <laughs> such job. Yeah, I mean, I at least now I need to pay a rent, but actually never was paying a rent previously. It's kind of weird, but I never paid a rent. But I mean, well, why not? Anyway, my point was, I mean, we all need to pay rent for apartment, but like some money are just not not good enough to be taken. It's not an honest way, right? Uh, Caro UK says, so it looks like super chat donations work and they will be good for you and your family. So please, yeah, thanks. It, it definitely works. And uh, it's pretty cool to see so so much support. And, and you know what? The point of super chat usually is to to make sure that, as, as I understand, to make sure that uh, viewer, uh, you you know, streamer can see your message, but like more most uh, super chats that I received today don't have any message at all. So people just wanted to support me, and th that was the only reason. And it's really cool. Nice chair. Okay, yeah, but I mean, it's not as cool as the chairs that I have in Kiev. It's the cheapest ones that I found. Uh, but it, I mean, it's a good chair. Not, not like it's a good chair, but it's uh, it's comfortable. Yeah. And yeah, so with that being said, I was talking about super chat again. Big thanks to anyone who decided to uh, make such donation. Malik Talk says, gaming makes more money than movies and music combined. To be honest, I'm not quite sure about this statement. I never saw a statistics, but I, I mean, it's, it's possible. It's possible because gaming industry is huge, just huge. Okay, so Pam Broke Jones has more detailed information. It's interesting. This year, the games market will generate total revenue of $180 billion. Just think about this number. 
180 billion dollars per year. Enormous. And so, with that being said, it's not a surprise that Take Two wants, you know, to have a piece of cake, of total cake, because they have great IPs. Red Dead Online, not online, but Red Dead Redemption, GTA, uh, what else do they have? They have NBA 2K, they have Mafia, and so on. They have a lot of IPs. Not all, uh, most, most of the important IPs go from Rockstar, but not all. And they want to make money out of these IPs on the mobile market. It's obvious, it's fun, it's fine. Uh, however, there are some weird things, and I was making a video about it. Before, before Zynga was purchased, but definitely when they knew that they're going to be purchased by Take-Two. There was some sort of a negotiation at least. They, uh, they started to move into NFTs. So yeah, it's not only going to be mobile games. I mean, it's fine just to have a mobile games. But I'm afraid there will be NFTs and there will be a lot of interesting stuff. 10 euro from Cerberus Jr. Cerberus. A little something so you don't have to, <laughs> to raid these dungeons. You are already a Red Dead Online legend. Thank you. Thank you, Cerberus Jr. Yeah, raiding dungeons is just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shizzle 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 says, if you dream about your job, is it your dream job? Yeah, I mean, I, I was always, okay, I, I may be lucky, I definitely am, about this, but I was always working in something that I considered as a dream job. Okay, so, uh, partly because of that, I never actually had to pay for a rent. It's a different kind of story, but someday maybe I will tell you. But, you know, it's a consequence. Andy O. Oddly. Hey, PvP. Been a fan for a while. Sorry I'm late to stream. Save me going back, please. Is there any limited item clothing this month? Love your channel. Thank you, Andy. I'm sorry to say, but there was no limited offer clothing uh, last month. Okay, I don't even remember. Dude, I forgot. Maybe there was something. I'm not go Ooh. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long time. But anyway, uh, on Tuesday there will be new monthly event, and uh, m we will check if there will be any limited offer clothing. Okay, you know what? We can we can check it right now if there is a uh, limited offer clothing in the game. Because I don't remember what kind of... I, I remember that there are bonuses for Bounty Hunter and so on. But about clothing... Where is clothing? It's here. Yeah. Okay, let's check. So it's not limited offer. Cots. Uh, we have a sale, but again, it's not limited offer. So I think there is no limited offer clothing. What kind of horse it is? It's a Shire. How is your cat, Marcus? Stephanie says. Is he finding safe? He's fine. He's safe. And he has so much food uh, stocked, supplied. That like... Oh, no. Actually, that he's... He's gonna be... He's gonna get fatter and fatter. Uh, okay, so... Uh, replying to the question of Andy, uh, there is a limited stock right now, look, there are two vests, and if you're looking to buy something uh, like these vests, or maybe these pants, tight pants, uh, maybe there are something else, I don't, I, I completely forgot, but anyway, you have time, oh, here you go, Calhoun boots, another limited stock, so if you want to buy it, uh, hurry up, because on Tuesday it will disappear. Probably there will be some other limited stock offer. 
no limited stock here yeah so not much like few wests boots uh but anyway there is some limited stock closing Yeah, thanks for for advices to check vests. There is a limited offer, vest uh, and and boots. But I mean, it's not much. It's not much at all. It's kind of weird. I mean, why adding so few limited offer options? I mean, but it's Rockstar. Who knows? Shizzle Shizzle says, hey, my name is PvP Cat and I think GTA, <laughs> GTA Plus is good. It's uh, collecting Compromat. Uh, but no, I don't think GTA Plus is good. Uh, I had to say it because, you know, it's super chat. But it's, it, it definitely sounded weird, right? But I'm just quoting Shizzle Shizzle here. I'm just reading message from him. Why, why he cannot say that his name is PvP Cat, right? It's, it's, it's not a registered trademark. Okay, so I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find this collectible. <laughs> now Shizzle Shizzle is posting it somewhere <laughs> on the social media. Malik Talk says, unlimited beans in beans plus seems worth, yeah. Quex uh, Kila says, what do you prefer, Red Dead Online or GTA? Oh, obviously, I prefer Red Dead Online, but I play GTA Online as well, a little bit, and I kind of, and I play uh, GTA RP. I was not playing for a month, now I think I should make a stream next week, because, you know, situation is kind of funny. I was playing a lot of GTA RP, and I created, a, it's like a clan, it's called Family, there but it's it's basically a clan and there were not many members and like but like 10 active members and we had doing different activities uh so anyway i've made a guide for beginners for this gtrp server and uploaded it i knew it's not gonna be like really popular but anyway uh then i could not play for a long time for obvious reasons and i was not playing but from this guide, a lot of new players, family members joined. Apparently it became popular. It's a good guide, I guess. And like now in this family, in my clan, there are 150 members. And they have not even saw me in the game because I was not playing for more than a month. So I guess I need to revisit. I, I need to revisit uh, GDRP. And it's kind of, actually, it's kind of fun. But anyway, your question was Red Dead Online or no, GTA Online is prof is my favorite and obviously Red Dead Online. But with that being said, I still play GTA Online time to time. Lucas says, Rockstar is going to do a late April Fool and make a trailer for Red Dead 1 Remaster. You know what, there are, there are um, a lot of rumors about Red Dead Redemption 1 Remaster. And you know what, there is, it's my opinion personal, but I don't think there, there is an, it's necessary for this game to have a remaster. Remake, yes, obviously, 100%. But remaster, like on Xbox uh, Series X, it, it run pretty good. Uh, quality of picture is like nice. So there is no need for remaster. Uh, 
uh, so only reason for Red Dead Redemption 1 to have a remaster is to release this game on a PC. But again, it might be simple PC port. Uh, so I would rather see, I would rather prefer to have a Red Dead Redemption 1 remake. It's a completely different story. And well, I, I will gladly pay for a remake like that. What horse are you riding? It's a Shire horse. In my opinion, it's like one of the best looking horses in Red Dead Redemption. Not only in online, but in Red Dead Redemption in general. Okay, somewhere is... Uh... Do I have a problems with stream? Malik Tok says, it could be luck issue, like what Kat was saying about naturalist transformation. Remember there are no lobbies, just peer to peer. Yeah, yeah. It depends on your connection, internet connection, if this animal transformation will work or not. Did you finish Red Dead Redemption story, Cat? No, Randy, I have not because uh, most of the time kids are using Xbox <clears throat> and, I can o I, and I can only play on PC. So I was I started to play Red Dead Redemption 2 again on a PC and I completed quite a lot. But I will, I will, uh, I think I will complete Red Dead Redemption 1. I, uh, it's a kind of interesting story. I, I'm interested in how it will develop, you know, what will happen. I know what will happen to John Marston because spoilers but like what will happen in a story in general and additionally i think there will be some you know interesting lore better protagonist john or arthur in my opinion i know it's an unpopular opinion but john marston from red dead redemption one is much more interesting and complex protagonist than Arthur Morgan. I know that everyone loves Arthur Morgan and partly because of great job uh, that uh, it's not voice actor but actor uh, who was giving his voice and motion to Arthur Morgan did uh, partly because you know Red Dead Redemption 2 is more popular but I think that John Marston, not from Red Dead Redemption 2, but from Red Dead Redemption 1, is an awesome protagonist. Are you playing on a PC? No. I mean, if I were playing on a PC, I would be crushed at the very beginning of the stream. <clears throat> is that, again, I'm not complaining, I am just uh, want to share this fact, but you would be surprised by how many angry messages and even threats in private messages uh, DMs I received after making charity streams to support Ukraine Ukrainian people uh, so especially now playing on a PC and streaming is like a terrible idea considering how easy it is to stop someone playing Red Dead Online or GTA Online on a PC. <laughs> Look, I said, wow, really? That's horrible. Yeah, it was actually surprising to me, but... It, uh, that's... That's how it is. Hey. 
Let me let me check how many viewers do we have. 200 viewers, pretty stable uh, number. Thanks to everyone who joined. Oh, I received some super chat. Marco Stefani. Uh, is that the reason why you do no more charity streams? No, no, dude. And by the way, thanks for um, Swiss francs uh, for donations. The reason why I was not making charity streams is because of my internet connection. You know, I had no constant address uh, until until yesterday. So we moved into this apartment and on most uh, apartments that we were finding uh, through booking there was terrible terrible internet so and you know it's not cool I, I i tried to make a stream like last week but internet was terrible and i had to rip it off after uh, like one less than one hour so bad internet uh, connection i had and, you know, considering uh, the fact that I'm actually streaming from notebook, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to make a good stream. Anyway, especially with internet connections. That's why I was not making charity streams. But now, today, I'm testing how internet in this apartment works. And it works fine. It's a good internet. So, uh, I, there will be charity stream next week for sure. Because... I, I, I mean, guys, we as a community managed to collect only from three charity streams $14,000 for people uh, of Ukraine, for refugees, for kids, uh, for people who stay in Ukraine, uh, to, for these two uh, charity organizations, Project Hope and Save the Children. And it's a lot, it's just, you know, a lot. So, I mean, I, I would, <laughs> it, it definitely not stop, you know, receiving such messages, definitely not stopping me from making such charity streams. It's, to be honest, it's quite opposite. Uh, but I had technical issues. And for the ones that I could not fix, because it's like, you cannot buy to apartments that you rent for booking uh, good internet, right? And streaming without good internet is just a bad idea. But anyway, so there will be, Marcus, so will be uh, charity streams, obviously. Uh, so Drifter Kid says he's Ukrainian, replying to Tan Joseph. Probably Tan was asking about my nationality, and yes. Marco Stefani says just great. I thank all supporters who made this amount possible. Yeah, this is great, and I thank uh, all uh, people who decided to take part as well. And it was extremely surprising. I mean, I've not expected such results and yeah it's obvious that each next charity stream will collect less and less for different reasons but still i mean any any support any help is uh, is important yeah it, it's quite a lot So, guys, I'm I'm gonna stop uh, stream right now because uh, it's kind of it's too cold in the room in which I'm streaming uh, right now, and fraud started to you know it's like sober in a fraud or something, but it's too cold and I don't have a tea. I I I have not prepared for this stream. My bad. I need to turn on some heater. Which is kind of weird because I'm in a pretty warm country. Uh, blue is the one. Blue is the one. Blue <laughs> donated five pounds. Thank you. Blue is blue. Blue is the one. Or probably it's, uh, it should be read. 
I should read it as blue as that one. Blue as that one. Anyway, thanks. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I will prepare to the next stream, which will be either GTRP because I, I, I repeat, I was, I kind of abandoned a lot of people there in, in my clan. Uh, or it will be charity stream. I, I think about making charity stream tomorrow. We will see. Or maybe on Tuesday, who knows. Uh, anyway, next time I will prepare better. I will have a big cup of warm tea and I will increase the temperature of this room because it's really cold. Super weird <laughs> again because look. I was not expecting. It's April already. Uh, and, and I repeat this country is like pretty warm. Uh, but anyway, it's my problem, so I will fix it. Thank you for visiting this stream. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters and thanks to everyone who made the donations via Super Chat. This, uh, this new thing that I have. And uh, thanks to everyone who placed a like and after all, thanks to anyone who joined stream, was communicated in the chat. As always, we have this uh, polite atmosphere in the chat. And see you next time. See you next time. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye. Stay, stay healthy. That's, that's really important.